coming up next. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Los Angeles Chargers and their Southern California rivals, the Los Angeles Rams. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. And this caught left side by the tight end Parham. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Seven yards, the pick up there. Throwing again on second down. Herbert, that's complete to the tight end, Everett. When the offense reads a blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from. Tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Right, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing with four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's Herbert. Open man is Palmer. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. A look there at his numbers on the ground a week ago. Pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. There he goes, right side. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for the Rams touchdown. Well, we talked pregame about how we might have some twists and turns in this one, but how about this on the opening drive? Well, they had a pretty good drive working, didn't they? So you wouldn't expect this ending because what you were thinking was they were going to put it in the end zone themselves, not have it go the other direction. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Justin Herbert and the rest of the Charger offense set to take over once more. His opening drive looked good for a while there last time out, was moving the ball down the field, but then the interception, and they ran it back to the house. Let's face it, it's a game of human beings, isn't it? Mistakes will happen, and as you noted, he was playing so well on this drive. I don't know if there was a miscommunication between him and his intended receiver. They run the wrong route. Anything could have possibly gone wrong there. They just have to shake it off and keep firing. On second down, Eckler. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. First seed completion on first down. And you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Able to hit his target, Claypool. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. A gain of eight there on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. 
Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Big conversion. They were backed up deep to start the drive, able to pick up the first. So the goal is at least a first down here. Pick up the first down, give yourself some breathing room, and if you have to punt after that, maybe you've helped with field position and you've helped out your defense. And avoided a three and out on their opening drive. On first down, burn. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". with the football here to begin the second quarter. 6-0 our score after one. They try and run on first down, but to no avail. Tackle for a two-yard loss in the backfield. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run. And boy, they were successful. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Here's Patterson. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Mariota. They're looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. Picked by Kenneth Murray. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. Extra point forthcoming. He's got it, and they take the lead at 7-6. to six. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. It is fielded right at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Patterson on the carry. And able 
able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. On third down, it's Patterson, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Cordero Patterson hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Rams are going to jump back in front. So it was the passing game that got him down here. The closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? Turnover, you just noted it. Punt's better, the punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn into first downs and hopefully points. Throwing on second and eight. Herbert. They'll find Everett there, complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From the gun, Herbert on third down. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. Up from the secondary to make the tackle, Jalen Ramsey. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. Coming up at halftime, I'll go for one personality. That's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. They'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Herbert now. He's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. Touchdown, L.A. Chase Claypool, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point splits the uprights. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Raymond Calais now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. I mean, we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Play fake. Mariota. That'll be caught. It's cut. And he finally goes out of bounds across the opposite 40. A big play there for L.A. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. He'll buy some time right. Man open. He's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. 
and this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Cooper Cup with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Rams have broken our tie as they take the lead. This time, the extra point up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Five plays there on that drive. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Charger drive about to get going. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get in. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And nothing doing here as this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they can use something here on third down. On the give, this is Eckler. Yeah, he'll work three from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away. Taken from just outside the 30. A big boot that time. 57 yards the official distance. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. He was going right back to Cooper Cup, and that'll bring up second down. And incomplete on the deep ball. I have to give some credit to the defender on that one. He read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Play action now. Mariota. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And a potential turning point as he'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. After the turnover, here's Herbert. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Open man completes it to Claypool. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. His kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of Week 17 is underway. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. 
Time to look now with our spotlight at the quarterback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And Charles, they've got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, if there were three talking points at the half, partner, all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. They'll roll him out right. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the core Daryl Patterson. Touchdown, L.A. Cordero Patterson. With touchdown number two in the game, and now 11 of the year. And the Rams add on to their lead. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Charger drive about to get going. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that leads you into bigger errors. Herbert's throw there, hauled in by Claypool, and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Herbert. And that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Completion here to Claypool. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. So, from Rams territory now, it's first and 10, right at the 40. A handoff, it's Eckler. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Once more, here's Eckler. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. They'll contain him to just four, second down. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. You've got to keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Charles, when you talk about free safeties, I think one word comes to mind, range. And we saw an example of a rangy free safety right there. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure. Touchdown, Chargers! Keenan Allen 
with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Chargers are able to make this a close game again. And they'll have Herbert try and throw for it. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Rolling to his right. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Time to get some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Open man right side is cup complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And it's caught. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Off the play fake, Mariota sliding out of the pocket. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Marcus Mariota keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. The Chargers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 16. Back to throw here, Herbert. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Chase Claypool. And the Chargers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Point after, right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Chargers, 32. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. As 
as the Rams offense comes back out. Here is the NFC playoff picture coming into the weekend. And with a final fortnight of games upon us, teams jockeying for position. Some of these games really starting to take enormous importance as they always do this time of year. I like how you use fortnight. Oh, and I am impressed. That means two weeks, if I'm not that mistaken, does. correct? That does. But how about exactly what you're talking about? Going down the stretch, how much importance is placed on these games? Look, everyone talks about every game's important. <laughs> when you get to this time of year, maybe that importance gets quadruple. And that's where we are right now to see who can make their last run, their last push to get into the playoffs. Call it a gate of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. The Rams on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This will be third and five. That ball caught. It's Mike Andrews, the tight end. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of the first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this will probably get away from them. A first down throw for Mariota. He completes it to Jones. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Here's second and ten. Once more, they turn to Patterson. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. 65 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They run with Patterson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Mariota looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, he's been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They saw the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. Patterson, well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape, and that is not going to get it done. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. No movement from the field goal unit. They've got four full yards to go here on fourth and goal to hit pay dirt, but they're going to go for it. Now Mariota, and he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. He had three touchdowns already, but won't get a fourth here. And the Chargers hold tight down near the goal line. The Charger drive about to get going. They're only in need of a field goal. A decent amount of time on the clock. So 
Tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they this all the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. A big play there for L.A. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Herbert to throw. Open man is Palmer. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Now Herbert got to get him to the line in a hurry. Herbert, and that's into the hands of Eckler. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now Herbert. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. On for the point after Corey Vedvik. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drive spanned five plays, and it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. Mariota sets to lead this offense. Down by four, 30 seconds to go. A possible crippling loss to their playoff status in the balance, barring a late score. Mariota's throw taken in by Sutton. And he'll have a quick first down here as he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Man open, here is Jones. With a solid stiff arm. And finally out of bounds, just a few yards short of the goal line at the three. A big play there on the catch and run. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Now Mariota. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays, and it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. The Charger drive about to get going. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second one. Whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary. But you're trying to get the first one to a receiver, get out of bounds, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easier shot at it. Let's see if they can do it. Might be easier said than done. One last throw here for Herbert. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Now going into the final play of this game, they knew that they...